I want to listen to the sounds of nature for a second. <laughs> Done. That's enough. One of our favorite excursions that we did was a trip out to Ningbing. It's rural, it's an escape from this hustle bustle of the city. The landscape, once you get down there, is absolutely breathtaking, unlike anything I've ever seen. Ninbin is about two hours south of Hanoi. It's inexpensive to get there. You can hire a car, you could take the train down, and housing options are inexpensive too. Yeah, they have a ton of homestays down there in our particular case we found one on airbnb and it was exceptional we each had our own bungalow and there were tourists there from around the world and our host helped plan different outings and the outings were fantastic yeah that's kind of the best way to go down there is kind of talk with your homestay host and then they'll really kind of set you up with whatever you want to do <laughs> we went on a tour of the farmland and saw some interesting wildlife. Also helpful to us, uh, his wife cooked us every meal, breakfast, lunch, dinner, the best food we've had in Vietnam. Yeah, and it was five bucks yeah. for each meal per person. The food was absolutely delicious. While we were in Ning Bing, we went to Trang An. To Trang An. To Trang An. Popular spot for people here in Vietnam and also from around the world. It's a series of uh, beautiful waterways which wind through caves. Yeah, it was really interesting. It was a lot of fun. And we thought it was going to be kind of relaxing because mm -hmm. they said that you have someone that will row you. We were told we wouldn't be doing any rowing. That was a complete lie. <laughs> she, she immediately handed all of us paddles. <laughs> So we helped paddle uh, down the river and also into a number of caves. We went into like six different caves, uh, low ceilings, but very cool inside. It was incredible to see how the driver actually maneuvered through this caves using her oars. It was pretty incredible to see. <laughs> so it wasn't quite as relaxing as we would have hoped, but it was still worth it to get out there and enjoy the scenery. She was impressive in the way she steered our little rowboat because the caves, it was like low ceilings and uh, she steered us through, nobody hit their head and it was really cool to go through those caves or grottos as they call them. It's a way to kind of experience something that you probably never get to see again. Yep. And it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site, isn't it? It might be. This is definitely the one that you can't miss, was up to Hang Mua. They call it a number they call it a number of different things. I think if you look on a map it's Hang Mua Caves. Mm -hmm. This was probably my favorite part of our trip to Vietnam. This one was an awesome hike, amazing view. Remember you walked up those last few steps and the view emerged and it was just just beautiful down below. Yeah, because you look over into the valley and you can see all the rice paddies and the mountains just rising up. And it's kind of hard to see in pictures, but on the very peak of the mountain is this dragon, which appears to be like leaping through the top of the, the jagged cliffs on top. Yeah, it was really cool. Um, another part I liked, they had a bar or cafe like halfway up, you get beer, water. Anything you need. Yeah. Up a little higher, up a little higher, to the right, to the right, to the right, to the right, now down. So we went to the Bai Ding Pagoda. We've been to a lot of temples and pagodas, but nothing like this. Down, down, down to the left, left, left. I mean, it's a sprawling complex. Most of it is brand new from a couple years ago. Oh, we passed it. Right, nope. Don't move. Most of all those steps and the thousands and thousands of Buddhas that you walk by to get to the main temples and the pagoda, that's all pretty much new. But once you hike kind of past it, you can climb up into the mountains and there's some older temples that are up there. And that was really cool to see because you're basically, a lot of the tourists kind of stayed behind, I would 
imagine and only seeing those temples that were down in the main area but once you kind of get up into the mountains it was beautiful to see and a lot less crowded <laughs> you could spend hours here going we in. have we've been here <laughs> two and a half hours now so many different temples and buddha statues and different things those. the views are just breathtaking from here it's just a beautiful beautiful place here in ninbin the flowers i was really impressed by the flowers there those orchids that they have hanging the cherry blossoms were in bloom yeah this is not a quick stop along the way you probably want to budget at least two to three hours to kind of really take it all in People in Vietnam might be the friendliest. Hello. Hello. Or maybe like the most excited to say hello to you. Hello. We just have been getting a lot of hellos. Hello. 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 Big smiles and you wave back and they're very excited to greet Westerners into Vietnam. 